She spent many years of her life stripping, got involved with the most controversial men, fought against the world's most famous family, and became OnlyFans top creator, earning millions of dollars a month. She is Black China. But now, you're looking at a new version of her. She deactivated her OnlyFans, removed some of her tattoos, reversed her surgeries, and now she goes by her real name, Angela White. All because she wants to become a better person and be a good example to whoever sees her. Yeah, I'm like learning myself. Like, we think we know ourselves and things like that, but you really don't. So, for me, it's more spiritual. What made Black China suddenly want to be a better person? This is too much. It's time for a change. This is not really who I am. See, she was definitely one of the most controversial personalities. You're very controversial. Thank you. And definitely one of the wildest. At only 18, she started stripping. I danced for six years. She did this to support her family and her studies. And at only 19, she started getting plastic surgeries to improve how she looked. Okay, so I've had a lot of procedures done. This is my fifth boob job. I've had liposuction three times. I've had fillers, I had butt augmentation. At some point, famous rappers started noticing her and that gave her opportunities in the music industry. But of course, fame came with a lot of controversies. China didn't expect how her life would change. She dated famous rapper Taiga, got engaged, had a son and broke up after three years of relationship. Then she dated Rob Kardashian, also got engaged, had a daughter and broke up after one year of relationship. This is when things in China's life started to get more messy. In 2017, she filed a $100 million defamation suit against the Kardashians. Because while all of this was happening, she had to continue providing for her children. That's when she turned to OnlyFans. I was like, why not just start OnlyFans, you know? And why I really honestly did it is because like, shoot, I'm gonna use that money to like support like my family and pay for for like all the marketing for my music and all that type of stuff because it gets really pricey. To her surprise, she became OnlyFans top creator, reportedly earning 20 million dollars a month. But even with the huge amount of money she's earning, not everything was going good for her. And going back to our question, what made Black China suddenly want to become a better person? Well, last year she lost the defamation case against the Kardashians. The jury ruling tonight in favor of the Kardashians. And it seemed like that moment hit her. She had a huge spiritual awakening. This was my first time ever being baptized. So I'm like, let me dig deep and see what it is that I'm doing wrong, because obviously it's something that I'm not doing right. Then she had her demonic tattoo removed. It got to come off. I just don't want anything negative or demonic on my body anymore. So I'm about to drive to Vegas to go get this removed. She's now getting her surgeries reversed, realizing that the best version of herself is her truest self. I've had um, liposuction with my, with my rear end, you know what I mean? And then also too, I got a breast reduction. Yeah, it was just too much. I'm actually on my way to go get these fillers dissolved from my cheeks and from my jawline because enough is enough it all has to come out i want to dissolve all of it and back to the baseline i knew like god told me like you do not need to be doing this like this is not this is not why i put you here to be doing to degrade yourself because our bodies is a temple she wants people to call her by her real name angela white i'm ready to get back to angela like black china like black china is black china you know what i mean and i feel like I've outgrown that. And even though she was earning $20 million a month, she quit OnlyFans. I'm not doing OnlyFans anymore. I'm past that. It's like one of those things I did what I needed to do at that moment because of the circumstances that I was in. That's just not what God would want me to do. And it's all because of God and her children. Now I'm just going by faith, trusting in God in every step that you take and not try to figure it out like for yourself. And she continues to change for the better. What do you see when you look in the mirror these days? Um, I see beauty. I see wisdom. Yeah, I see myself. Feel good about it too. And so the reason why I wanted you to see this story is because Angela White's story reminds all of us that anyone is capable of change. Your present 
is a present. Don't worry about like the past. If things happened to you in the past, don't let that dictate your presence. 